Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Akshit. I'm a freshman studying computer science at Triple IT Hyderabad. And in this video, I'll talk about my productive college desk setup and the tech I use every day, which looks something like this. So it has taken me about three years to um, build this desk setup part by part and it is amazing. Uh, I cannot wait to show all of this to you guys and hopefully give you some ideas for your desk setup as well. My entire setup is powered by this absolute beast of laptop, the 14 inch um, M1 Pro MacBook Pro. This machine has absolutely everything. It has an amazing screen with an absolutely amazing resolution. It has a super powerful chip, which just elevates your performance to a whole another level and a very, very long battery life, which lasts you the whole day. It runs everything I need and more. Like I use this laptop for everything college and YouTube related, such as coding and editing and you know submitting assignments and all of that and it does all of that very easily and i hope it keeps doing so for the next four years since the newer macbooks come with a bunch of ports i did not really have to buy a usb hub as was the case with the previous macbooks all i needed was a usb a to c converter so that i can link up my peripherals with the MacBook. The one I'm using is called the Agaro Blaze Converter. It is really cheap and it was one of the first things that popped up on Amazon. And of course, it does the job really well, just like I needed to. Now to get the laptop to the same height as my monitor, that was a task. But instead of investing in a laptop stand, I preferred to do some jugad instead. And I found the thickest book I could find and um, I just like placed it under uh, my laptop. I'm not gonna lie, this is the best way I've used the SAT guide till now. Sorry, Dad. The monitor I use is a 23-inch Samsung curved monitor with a 60Hz refresh rate. I bought this monitor because I needed another screen along with my laptop in order to multitask better. I like to open a lot of tabs at a time and having them on just one screen is really cluttered. So having this extra screen has really helped declutter that process and help me multitask better. This extra screen real estate has been really helpful while coding, doing assignments or lab reports, um, watching lectures and my favorite of all, being able to play my PS4 right here. On to the peripherals. Uh, the keyboard that I use is a Logitech K480 that I bought just a few months ago. The keyboard is great. It can connect to three separate devices at a single time. It has functionality for both Windows and iOS. It feels great to type on, makes a great sound, though still not as good as the MacBook's keyboard, but um, still good um, objectively. And the best thing about it is that it is very compact. Uh, so that makes it a great option. The mouse that I use is also from Logitech and is the M235 model, which is a very basic wireless mouse. It handles all of my tasks really well and it is incredibly comfortable to hold in your hand. So if you have don't have any gaming commitments, I would suggest going for this. It's really cheap and it does all the work really well. Next, we have the desk mat, which is really pulling the whole look of the table together. This desk mat is from Scarters, which I bought because I did not want to like put scratches on this glass table, which is like very easy to scratch and stuff. So I wanted a desk mat to protect it. And uh, this also gave me a lot more real estate to move my mouse before I had like a mouse pad, a dedicated mouse pad, but now like the whole area my mouse can move and stuff and it has been an amazing buy um, as i said from the, for the mouse for the aesthetics and it helps keep my table clean next on my desk is my ipad air 4 which is what i use for taking all my notes and doing all my assignments using good notes 5. Transitioning to digital note taking has been a great experience in college and I find it so much better than physical notes uh, for so many reasons which I will talk about maybe in a future video. But apart from note taking, my iPad is also my main source of entertainment. Uh, this iPad has seen me go from illegal Liverpool live streams on Twitter to um, Demon Slayer on Netflix to Modern Family on Hotstar. Yeah, this uh, iPad has seen everything and it is really comfortable to like watch stuff on. As for my headphones, my main pairs are these AirPods which I use on the daily with everything from my iPad to my phone to my laptop. Um, I use these with everything. Considering everything, they're pretty comfortable because even though they're in my ear like three, four hours daily, um, my ears never feel irritated by them. Apart from that, for gaming on my PS4, I use these Sennheiser 440 HD Bluetooth wireless headphones, 
uh, which were my main pairs of headphones before I got the AirPods. My most recent piece of tech is this Amazon Echo Dot that I got from someone. I think, um, I don't really know, it was like just kept out in the living room so I just bought it in like to like keep on in my room. It has been a great catch though. Alexa works really well with my Google Calendar and notifies me very audibly about my classes and it also works great as a speaker whenever I want to blast music in my room. In college, I also plan to get smart lights uh, with, which work with the Amazon Echo Dot so that I can truly increase its utility. Hopefully. Now that is all for the tech that I keep on my desk. Now it's time to talk about the remaining stuff that is less significant but equally as important to the setup. First up, we have this table lamp for Wipro which has three different temperature colors as well as adjustable brightness. This has been my main source of light while studying for the last like two years and also acts as my main source of lighting in my YouTube videos. So yeah, it's a great multitasker if you want it. Now coming to the cable management, um, it's not that great, but at least it makes everything work. My whole setup is run by two different extension cords which contain the plugs for everything from my monitor to my PS4 to all the charging cables for all the devices that I have here. As I said, cable management is not my strongest skill but I'm working on it and hopefully in the next video uh, about my desk you will see a much improved cable management where nothing can be seen. Unlikely but we can hope. Finally I keep a few notebooks on my desk because there are some things that are always better written down uh, even after like transitioning to digital note taking. The first notebook is for uh, my video ideas. Recently, uh, I've started like writing down video ideas and like scripts and video transitions and ideas into this little notebook. And it has been a great experience. It's actually a lot more fun than typing it out. So this is what I'm continuing with till now. Well, we'll see what happens going forward. Next up, I have the second notebook, which contains all the information about my coding projects, some like side projects, whatever I'm learning. So I keep a track of it here uh, because like, I, I just like writing this stuff down and it's very rough, but yes, um, it does the work. There's another notebook here, which you might recognize from one of my recent videos. It's basically like a miscellaneous notebook where I write anything and everything that comes to my mind. Yeah, it doesn't really have a specific purpose. We have a couple of registers here, um, which basically are for like practice in college. So like whenever I have to practice something or like submit a scanned copy in an assignment, I use these uh, registers. Finally, there are some very little, little things that uh, while seemingly insignificant, make a lot of difference in my life. Just these little trinkets. This is basically like, um, um, like 50 or something, 100 uh, sticky notes which I started writing my daily to-do list on and I just keep them here. Uh, I found it to be like better and more like visible right on my desk. Next up, I have two coasters um, on my desk which keep my water bottle very important. Be hydrated. That's a reminder. Should go, go hydrate now. Uh, one coaster and two. So one of them, of course, as you saw, is for my water bottle. And the rest, next one is uh, whenever I get my coffee or anything else to drink, I just keep it here because I really don't like my desk mat getting weirded out. Next, we have this Spotify plate from uh, Peppy Store. Uh, I guess it was a gift that I got for my birthday. It contains my favorite song, which you should also check out. Um, and it is a great decoration for my table. I love looking at it like right here. Um, you should always have decorations on your table. It creates a very nice vibe. Lastly, we have this little guy right here, which is an N95 mask, which is um, basically a necessity in uh, these times. So I keep him on my desk because when it's on my desk, it is really hard to forget um, to like take the mask. Anyway, I love this desk setup and I hope I've given you a few ideas of how you can improve your desk setup too as you know, desk setups have become really important ever since COVID hit and it's really, really important to have a good desk setup that increases your productivity while still being ergonomic. Anyway, that's all for this video. If you like the video, leave a like. If you loved it, just subscribe. It would mean a lot to me um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.